Hi friends, welcome to channel Benarzaizer. In last uh, few uh, weeks you have seen I have posted multiple videos regarding robotic arm. At the very beginning I didn't make the robotic arm. I started with the different terminologies about the robotic arm, what are the basic things about uh, the robotics arms you should know. So this series I made for the beginners. So I am making particularly this video just to accumulate what I have done in last few weeks related to robotic arms. You can make an actuator from servo motors, from stepper motors, from different kind of things that I have shown in my this video. This video is about actuator and we have decided to use a very low cost micro servo motor as an actuator so in this video i have explained about different specs of the servo motor and how you can use it using an arduino so we have used arduino uno to control the small servo motor so when you make a powerful and you want to have a powerful actuator like a bigger servo motor if you use which has more torque like suppose it has 10 kg or 20 kg centimeter torque then how will you use that so in this video i have explained how to use powerful servo motors the main the key thing is that, that you have to provide the power from a power supply that can provide the necessary current because when load comes on the servo motor it started drawing more current and thus if you do not able to provide that current from your power supply it will just reset your whole system it will not run okay after that we have learned how to connect a sensor and a servo motor both together in an arduino in this video and we have used a port as a sensor and we move the port to rotate the servo motor to a particular angle. Now, when you know this kind of stuffs, you are in a position to make something interesting. So, we decided to make one, one degree of freedom, one axis robotic arm using one single actuator. It's a very simple robotic arm that I have explained here but very interesting we have used a port as a sensor and the potentiometer we have actually placed in our elbow and with our hand movement we moved this robot we moved this robot so basically it is controlled by your own movement you can move it very fast you can move it very slow so this is really interesting then we move to little advanced robotic arm. In that, we come to know that a robot can have many degrees of freedom. Like, suppose it has four degrees of freedom. So there is one base movement, one shoulder movement, one elbow movement, and then there is a gripper. So if I keep the structure of the first three DOA common, then for different functionality, different work, I just need to change the gripper. And that's what people does in the industry. So I have explained about gripper, that what are the different kind of grippers in this video. And we made one servo based wire control, very basic gripper. And this is the gripper I have explained at the very beginning. But I decided to make four grippers. So this is the second gripper this is also servo based but this is not wire driven this is gear driven the gears we made our own from mdf so you can learn from this how to make your own gear and then this is the gripper you can make to hold something this is also programmable by arduino now obviously this gripper has some pros and cons so we decided to improve that and that's how we got the third gripper that is little that is the modification of the second gripper and it is nothing but a parallel jaw gripper and we made that using ice cream sticks 
So this is a servo driven Arduino controlled parallel jaw gripper which has much more better gripping or holding power and you can use definitely for your robotic arm. But out of all these three we made a different type of robotic arm that is an universal robotic arm. Because there are so many types of object people try to make universal robotic arm which can hold any type of objects a small or a big. So we took that concept and we added our own concept and made a different very mini small we have used flour instead of coffee powder. See this miniature universal gripper? It can hold almost anything. Just watch for a few seconds. See? It is also shown in one of the videos. And you can follow that video to know how to make it. And then we decided to make a Arduino control for DOF robotic arm. And I have used ice cream sticks as a frame to make that robotic arm. It was not done from a template. It was done on the go. Means while we are making we started designing and making together. And this is the robotic arm we made. This is Arduino control. There are four pot at the back for each one, each for it's for every DOF and you can control the base, the elbow, the shoulder and the gripper using the spot can hold something and can do, pick and place all those things. So you'll be really excited if you make your own such robotic arm, isn't it? Let me know your interaction with me will motivate me. However, uh, let's move on at that what next? The next thing is these robotic arm you can improve. What you can do? You can record one complete activity and then you can do it multiple times to do a repetitive work. You can attach those spot like base is here, shoulder is here, elbow is here and make an equal equivalent to robotic arms on one structure and then that's kind of joystick you can move to move the robotic arm so i think that will be easier way to move the robotic arm than by just turning the pot because you don't know how much to turn exactly to, to go particular location 